Hello, in this video we're going to look at calculating the inflation rate using both the consumer price index and the GDP deflator. So here is our economy. We have two goods, almonds and dog toys. We get the price and quantity in each year. 2020 will be our base year. We're going to use the table to calculate the inflation rate in 2021 using the consumer price index or CPI and then doing the same thing but this time using the GDP deflator. So let's first calculate the inflation rate using the GDP deflator. We're going to first calculate nominal GDP in 2020. So nominal GDP in 2020 is going to be the output valued at current dollars. So 8 times 100 plus 12 times 40. That is our current dollar GDP for 2020. And we get a value of 1,280. Real GDP in 2020. We're going to multiply our output in 2020 by base year prices. Our base year prices are 2020 prices. So we're going to get the same calculation. It's just going to be 8 times 100 and 12 times 40. So just valuing that output at base year prices, at 2020 prices in other words, and we get again 1,280. The GDP deflator is defined as nominal GDP over real GDP all multiplied by 100. So the GDP deflator in 2020, nominal divided by real, multiplied by 100, will just equal 100. And you should know that the GDP deflator will always equal 100 in the base year. Now we're going to calculate nominal GDP in 2021. So the current dollar GDP, take our output in 2021 and multiply it by the current prices, so 9 times 105 plus 12.25 times 44, nominal GDP in 2021 is $1,484. Real GDP in 2021, we're going to take the base year prices and multiply it by the 2021 quantities, so 8 times 105 plus 12 times 44. So we're taking our output in 2021 and valuing that output at base year prices. Doing that, we get real GDP in 2021 of $1,368. Forming our GDP deflator then, taking the nominal GDP, dividing it by the real GDP for that year, all multiplied by 100, we get a GDP deflator in 2021 of 108.48. Now to calculate the inflation rate, we're going to just use our percentage change formula. We're going to take the GDP deflator in 2021, subtract from it the GDP deflator in 2020. That will all be divided by the GDP deflator in 2020, and we'll get it out of decimal format and multiply it by 100. So plugging in our values, and the hundreds cancel, and we're left with just 8.4, 8.48%. So in 2021, prices rose on average 8.48% using the GDP deflator method. Okay, turning our attention to the CPI method. Let's calculate the inflation rate using the consumer price index. The consumer price index in 2020 is going to be the current cost of the base year basket divided by the base year cost of the base year basket. So our base year basket is going to be 100 almonds and 40 dog toys. So the current cost of that base year basket is 8 times 100 plus 12 times 40. And the base year cost of that base year basket is going to be just 8 times 100 plus 12 times 40. And that will just leave us with a CPI in 2020 of 100. Now the CPI in 2021, current cost of the base year basket divided by the base year cost of the base year basket. So this time the current cost of the basket is 9 times 100 plus 12.25 times 40. So our numerator is slightly different, but our denominator is still the same. The base year cost of the base year basket will still be 1,280. So doing our calculations, the CPI in 2021 is 
and now we can calculate the inflation rate by looking at the percentage change going from 100 to 108.6. So the inflation rate using the percentage change formula, plugging in our values for the CPI, so we get an inflation rate slightly different than the GDP deflator method. Here we get an inflation rate using the CPI of 8.6%. Okay, I'll stop here.